I've been forced into the psychiatric hospital several times for various things, mostly um, when I act out because I started screaming. And the reason why I was screaming was because I didn't have any emotions and like I couldn't connect my thoughts together. And I was very confused and it caused me to, um, it caused me to do some strange things. Like one time, I don't even know why I was doing it, but I was throwing bricks at, um, at a bridge. And like I said, I told the cops that I was doing an experiment but my memory's kind of hazy around that period of time. I do remember throwing glass bottles at the cars because I couldn't feel my emotions and I just wanted to feel anything. And I was like, I was trying to feel that intense, I guess, I don't know. I was trying to feel anything. And uh, I thought that there were people in my head like doing experiments. And I'm still not 100% sure that they weren't because I think that they were trying to help me. Like I think the government was did mind control on me to try to like prevent me from being completely insane my whole life. Like I've gotten a lot more lucid these past couple months since they did their lobotomy or whatever they did. But it also caused me to have like some serious memory problems. I mean I had problems before that from schizophrenia but... I mean, like, it caused me to have even more problems. And I think, I do really think that they were trying to do the best they could. But I think that they failed. And, um, it makes me sound delusional to talk about it. But I know what a delusion is. Therefore, I'm not delusional. Um, uh, I just want to say, though, that they should have consent of the person. And the person should, because now they've got me on heavy duty medications and they've got me after they did their lobotomy or whatever they did and the two together are not necessary like we should go to a hospital and they should tell us that we have to have a lobotomy or something done or whatever they did i'm sure that they have a fancy name for it and they're not going to call it a lobotomy because a lobotomy must be like barbaric but um they did something to me whatever they did in novocaine and bet by beck and madonna's a bedtime story it kind of helped me, but it hurt me at the same time. And I like I I get really uncomfortable sometimes, and I feel like there's water rushing through me. Like I have somatic hallucinations, I guess, because of that. And I never had those before. Um. Uh, and occasionally olfactory hallucinations, but I'm pretty used to this. I don't even consider those to be hallucinations, but I guess they consider them to be anyway I just want to talk a little bit about psychiatric wards they're pretty um they're pretty dismal like it's not a place I would like to go I try to avoid them like the plague um if you're not crazy before you're locked up you'll be crazy by the time you get out of them there was one that I was locked up in in Columbia where they didn't have any activities for us to do and I understand that they didn't have anything for us to do because they had Alzheimer's patients on the ward and they couldn't like um risk it having them be hurt and stuff so we all had to like kind of pay but I think that I think they should give us passes because we're we're adults and even if we're mental and stuff um we can still like I of course they said even if they did have passes they wouldn't let me go off the board because I was a danger but to myself but um I really don't think I was because I didn't express any suicidal ideation around that time so I don't think you can always say just because I've been suicidal in the past that I'm going to be always suicidal. But I guess they're extremists because they're, they've had bad luck or something. Like the only time I've really, really, really been suicidal is when I lost my emotions because like I started running around screaming and stuff. And I got really, um, when I was delusional, like I had a hard time and, um. I guess I can understand why they wouldn't have let me out then, but I really, I could, they kept me there for like 70 some days in the mental hospital and they didn't let me see the light of day. And I obviously improved during that period of time and they should have given me a pass or something. Anyway, um, well, tell me what you think if you've been in a psychiatric ward and what you think about them. I get diagnosed with the same thing every time, but I've been improving slowly but surely, especially these past couple months.